talk to us about the trends you're seeing among customers and small businesses right now as the pandemic continues going into the holiday season. Yeah, as you, as you can, thanks for having me on. Um, as you can imagine, um, you know, all of these merchants, uh, and we serve retail, but we also serve hospitality, they're, they're lighting up their digital channels. Uh, most of our customers, uh, you know, have physical presences, uh, but uh, it's all the e-com, e-commerce, curbside pickup, delivery channels that are that are that are a crucial lifeline right now for these businesses, uh, especially during this this moment. Now, you went public in Canada last year, then on the New York Stock Exchange a couple of months ago, and your shares are soaring. But how much do you expect this much activity to continue as life returns to some form of a new normal, knowing that still quite a ways out, but the vaccine news uh, has led us to believe it could be sooner than we think. Mm -hmm. you, you know, we, um, we're all about omni-channel. So we've been preaching omni-channel, which means the blending of physical and digital channels. We've been preaching this for five years. So we've just seen COVID accelerate adoption of omni-channel systems. We fully expect that, uh, that, that customers, can, that, that the consumer, the modern consumer is going to be shopping in physical locations and online. Uh, and businesses have to be prepared to, to, to offer, offer both experiences. Uh, and so what we've seen is that a lot of our customers, uh, you know, pre-pandemic had used, um, you know, maybe more of the, the tools for managing their physical operations. But as the pandemic set in, you know, there was a rush to, 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 to light up the, the elements of light speed that enabled them to transact with their customers on the digital, on the digital sense. So, and I think that, uh, you know, post-pandemic, I think that these businesses are going to have both of these uh, revenue streams. You compete with some U.S. tech giants like Square and Salesforce. You also compete with your uh, fellow Canadian company, Shopify. Um, I've had the CEO Tobias Lutka on the show as well, talking about a similar, these similar trends. What sets you apart? Yeah, so we, you know, Lightspeed is, has always been specialized uh, uh, for the complex merchant. Uh, so, you know, our average, our average retailer hospitality merchants doing an average of 600,000 uh, in transaction volume per year. And that means that they've got more complexity in their business. So they've got tens or hundreds of thousands of SKUs in a bike shop or a, um, you know, a pet toy apparel, uh, or in a restaurant, it's a, it's a restaurant that's, got, that's connected to a resort or a golf course. Uh, and so there's more complexity uh, inherent in the business. And these, these, uh, these complex businesses are typically served by legacy systems that have all that deep functionality. In the cloud, uh, and the cloud is what's really enabling omnichannel. And I think we're we're the we're the we're the the player with the most scale. And so all those complex businesses that need okay. to go omnichannel are uh, are getting up to light speed. So we have about a minute left, Dax. What are you looking ahead to this holiday season? What trends are we going to see? I think uh, you know I, I, what we're seeing in our customer base is we're seeing um, a lot of these uh, these new business models of, of e-com and. and curbside pickup and all of these all of these uh, these new, new ways of selling being really uh, popular uh, and and how people are going to get through uh, we're also you know offering ways for um, uh, you know for for customers to use uh, things like subscriptions and and uh, uh, to, to get gift boxes and so on uh, you know from their from their favorite retailers so there's some trends uh, of buying local uh, and uh, and shopping with local retailers that are uh, I think really interesting for for our customers